Hey friends, my name is Yi and you're watching Yi with Easy. And welcome to a new video for IGCSE at Max. And today, we have questions for the basis of integration. And these questions are from this website right here, so I'll link it in the description so you can check it out. And before you get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And we'll move on to the first question. Integrate with, with respect to x of this function right here. So we can use the reverse chain rule to, uh, to integrate this because we have a bracket and the power. So let's just rewrite it. The, inter the integral of 2 minus 3x to the power 5 dx will be equal to the top will be the same bracket, but the power has to plus 1. So 5 plus 1. And the bottom will be the new power, which is the power plus 1, times by the differential of the bracket, or like the derivative of the bracket. So it, the new power, 5 plus 1. And differentiate the bracket, only the bracket, 2 minus 3x, the differential of it would be minus 3. So it just be minus 3. And then don't forget the, don't forget the plus c, so plus c. This will be equal to, let's look at the, the bottom, 5 plus 1 is 6, and 6 times minus 3 is minus 18. So you minus, well, let me see the new color. So it will be minus 18 as a bracket, minus 18, oops, minus 18, what sorry, minus 1 over 18, and then bracket 2 minus 3x to the power of 6, which is a new power, plus c, because this is an indefinite integral. And that's the answer. And number two, integrate with respect to x of this function right here. So this is kind of just quite straightforward because it's just every, like a single term. So what we can do is that you can do 4x squared minus 2x dx. We can basically just split it into two, um, the, uh, two integral. So be this, oops, for an uh, integral of 4x squared dx minus an integral of 2x dx. So the 4x squared uh, square will be equal to the power plus 1, which is equal to x to the power of 3, because 2 plus 1 is 3, over the coefficient will be over the new power, which is 3, like this. Plus 2x, uh, 2x the power is 1, so 1 plus, 2, 1 plus 1 is 2, so it will be an x squared, and then the coefficient over the new power, 2 over 2. And don't forget that plus c, like so, plus c. Oops. C. So what we can do now is that we can, we can basically simplify the whole thing. We'll be equal to 4 over, oops. We'll be equal to 4 over 3 x cubed plus x squared plus c. And that's it. And moving on, we have this question. Given that y equals 4x over 1 plus x squared and dy over dx, which is the differential, equals 4 minus 4x squared over 1 plus x squared, the whole thing squared. Hence, or otherwise, evaluate this function right here, which is an integration. So it might look complicated, like you might think that you haven't like, done this integration, and it's true that we haven't learned this in at maths, but because we're given this information right here, so it's quite important. So you can notice that this function right here looks quite similar to this function, right? Except that this has a multiple of 4. So what we can do is that we can basically just factor out the 4 from the top. So be, the top will be 4, 1 minus x squared over 1 plus x squared squared. So we can basically see that to turn from this, from, from this function to this function, you have to times the function by 1 over 4. Right, because the 4 cancel out. That means that you need 1 over 4 in this function here to cancel out this 1 over 4. And because we know that 1 over 4 is a constant and through derivative or through integration, the constant won't change. That means that we also need a 1 over 4 here so that it will be the derivative of this right here. So let me just write it out first. So since, um, since um, 4x, like 1 plus this, do you differentiate it? Differentiate dif will be equal to 4 1 minus x squared over 1 plus x squared squared. That means that if we have 1 over 4, 4x 1 plus x squared, oops, 1 plus x squared, you, dif you differentiate it, 
then it would be 1 over 4 4 1 minus x squared over 1 plus x squared squared like so so we can basically cancel out and which is what we're given right cancel out so which is what this is let me just highlight it so it will be this right so we can see that basically the differential of this function right here is this so we can rewrite it as the differential sorry the integral of 1 0 1 minus x square oops, 1 minus x square over 1 plus x square squared dx will be equal to you need like this square bracket to show that it's an integral so we know, we know that we can put this uh, function here into this bracket but we know that constant won't change in integration so we can pull the, pull the, um, the constant out first which is 1 over 4 and 4x over 1 plus x square close bracket to show that it's n so it will be the limit from 1 to 0 so we can now evaluate this integral so when we have let's just do 1 over 4 when we have x equals 1 it will be 4 over 1 plus 1 square is 2 4 over 2 which is just 2 minus 0 right because 4 times 0 is just 0 so just don't care about it so we can evaluate it so this will just cancel out so 4 over 2 will be 2 so it will be 1 over 4 times 2 which gets us 2 over 4 or the final answer as the most simple answer 1 over 2 like so and then we have this question x squared minus 4x plus 3 is a gradient function of the curve and this tells us that this is dy over dx because gradient function is dy over dx the tangent at the point k3 of the, of the, like, the curve is parallel to the straight line y plus x minus 4 equals 0 find the value of k so we have this thing so we know that this information is quite important we can rearrange the equation to get y equals minus x plus 4 and we know that tangent at this let's say just draw the, the curve as like this and the tangent to the point um, k3 is parallel to this um this line right here and we know that this line has a negative gradient so it'll be somewhere like just, just as a sketch it'll be like this kind of that means at the point where k3 the x equals k it will have a, a gradient of the same that it'll be parallel so the gradient will be the same right so it means that if we substitute k as like x equals x equals k into the gradient function you will you will like equate that to a gradient of minus one so you'll find whichever point that has a gradient of minus one so to solve a you have dy over dx equals x squared minus 4x plus 3 and we know that the, the gradient we need is minus 1 so minus 1 equals k, uh, x equals k so it would be k squared minus 4k plus 3 which if you solve it it would be k squared minus 4k plus 4 equals 0 and you can simplify it by doing k minus 2 squared equals 0 solving it will get you k equals therefore k equals 2 because you can just square it both sides and plus both sides by 2 so k equals 2 and find the equation of the curve so we need to differentiate uh, sorry we have to integrate this um, gradient function so the integral of x squared minus 4x plus 3 with respect to x will be equal to the first thing will be 1 over 3x squared so x cubed once you add the power by 1 and divide the coefficient which is 1 by the new power minus 2x squared plus 3x plus c remember the plus c because it's a definite it's an indefinite integral so we need a plus c so we have y equals 1 over 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x plus c we need to, we need to solve what c is and to do that we need a set of coordinates where we have the x value and the y value to find the c and luckily we do have the value here k3 where k is 2 so we do the condition where x is equal to 2 which is right, right here and y is equal to 3 and we can solve that by doing 3 equals let me just, my, let me just use my calculator so 1 over 3 to uh, 1 over 3 times 2 cubed minus 2 2 cubed 
plus 3 times 2 will be equal to 2 over 3c plus c. So for c will be equal to uh, 3 minus 2 over 3 will be equal to c equals 7 over 3. Therefore, if you just rewrite it, it will be y equals 1 over 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x plus 7 over 3. And that's the final answer. And moving on to the last question, given that this, uh, this right here equals 9, where f of x is a function of x, with uh, where like f of x is bigger than 0, find the value of p if this right here. So we need to use an integration rule from last lesson, which basically means that if we have a function like 4 over 2 f of x equals, let's say, p, and if you want to, if you want to maintain it as p, but the integral sign, integral sign is like flip, it'll be 2, 4, then it, the f of x has to turn into minus f of x. So we can now rewrite this function, this um, equation right here. So 2 to 4, 3, you can just put a constant out, f of x plus 2 to 4 p dx equals 53. So we know that the rule from just from here, 2 to 4 is equal to 4 to 2, but it has a negative sign. So since 4 to 2 is 9, that means 2 to 4 is minus 9. So it would be 3 times minus 9 plus 2 to 4 p dx equals 53. So we have to now solve this integral. So we know that because it's differentiating with respect to x, that means it'll be, they will have an x. So to solve this, it will be 3 times minus 9 is minus 27. Minus 27 plus a square, uh, like a bracket px because we're, dis we're um, integrating with respect to x. 2 to 4 equals 53. So we can solve it by just um, evaluating this and then uh, rearranging the equation. So it will be 2x, sorry, 2p minus 4p equals 53 plus 27 is 80. Like so, 80. So then we can just um, evaluate it, minus 2p equals 80. And we can basically divide both sides by minus 2. And therefore, p equals minus 40. And that's the final answer. And this is for this video for the basis of integration. And I hope you find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And win the notification bell so you miss out on any future videos. And if you have any comments or constructive feedback about my channel or my YouTube or my videos or my Instagram, just leave them in the comment section and I'll reply to them. And check out my social media in the description for more daily contents, for example, LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check out my website in the description or you can type it out in your browser at www.gmuseeasy.com. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in the next video which will be the integration or the integral of trigonometric functions which will be interesting. But until then, stay safe and happy learning.